Plus this is costing me money from raised armies, not a lot. And costing me prestige, also honestly not that much. Wise man activity, gotcha. Ah, hosting a feast is, uh, is pious. Send the invitations. Mystical knowledge, oh ho, well. I've come across a book describing how ancient devotees used trances and visions of ecstasy to commune with viraj. Strange practice in our modern age. Perhaps there's something to be learned from them. Let's test these mystical practices. Whilst we're at the feast, of course, a cheery gathering. The mood is bright and spirits is high. Spirits are high. Now, early on we had a feast where it was just us and our wife. Good to see I have actual turnout now. It doesn't look like we're getting too fat, but I need to be careful. Becoming obese is a hell of a health burden. Uh, right, once again the peasants are at it. If you call that peasantry, you're pathetic. Why even have a revolt if it's just that? Really pathetic. And they're they're doing it right on the feast, right? And they can't even do the place. Right, I'm at the feast, guzzling down the food, there are peasants trying to bang down the door, but I'm still locking myself in a room with strange powders and burning fire everywhere. Overpowering heat, smoke and smells, I try to feel things that lie beyond the world of senses. I do not know how much time has passed before strange indecipherable visions of light and pulsing sounds come to me. Is it my imagination or a glimpse of the divine? Is there any way to tell? I must find out. This could kill me, I think. But we'll do it anyway. Well... Oh, this chieftain could become our friend. The one I keep mistaking for the, uh... For the weirdo who... Oh no, it is the weirdo, uh... That I force converted. To think he'd become my friend friend after everything we've been through. Alright, what's going on? As I experiment more and more, I get clearer and clearer grasp on things. It is as if I can now summon the presence I feel when I start my little ritual. It offers stability and comfort in the chaos of the world around me. I gain stress and lose stress. Hmm. Or, we become a wise man. I think I'm here to be a wise man, personally. Alright, without even noticing, I have locked up this weirdo. But he's he's essentially one of us, so I don't mind uh, having him around. Recruit the man, hook the man, bring him in. Where's the king? He's getting high in the closet. <laughs> it's not wrong. It's quite the opposite of wrong. There we go. Check your decisions now, Jake. Well, hold your horses there. Direct vassal opinion increase, or I just sweep up the prestige for myself. I think that's a clear win for me. Hold mystical commune. You're the only one it truly knows. Costs piety. You gain divide guidance for five years. Martial learning stress. Mm -hmm. Don't want to spend all my piety here, but I will be going on a uh, pilgrimage before long, so let's, go, let's check it out. That was the exact thing I was referencing before, says Andarius. You see, high luck just means the unlikely is more likely to happen. There we go. Now, if and when I reform, almost all my vassals will join me. The ones that won't, I'll have to deal with personally. And I will deal with them personally. It's not worth thinking about right now, though. Right, well, let's try our mystical commune. I get learning lifestyle, which is definitely worth it, so I begin in peace. How often can we do this? Every five years, and I want to know whenever I can do it. To my woefully misguided liege, your strange practices are not sanctioned by the Zretzi. Somehow, someone must take you to task for it. If I do not do it now, then Rod will. Please see reason. Turn away from the strange path. Who knows what heresy... Or demon worship it may lead to. What was I thinking? Rivalry with Dragos. Nope, I will have this. 
you can find secrets of the court in the off chat. Yeah, I've not been searching for secrets at all. Because I don't really have a... If I got hooks on everyone in my court, I wouldn't even know what to do with it. Uh, it's not like I have good feudal things I can do. I want that duchy, though. Well, that can be something for my heir to worry about, because he's going to be out with any, uh, without any duchies. Am I holding the commune or not? Or did just not much happen from it? Maybe events come from Divide and Guidance. Nice to get some additional taxes, but what's not nice is that I am not milking all of the money from you. Bold fool. He's ailing, though. I don't know who'll be next in line, but he should inherit the gold. And then I need to figure out how to... Hold on, I can try to abduct you again? Oh, no, I, I tried to fabricate hook, not abduct. Declaration of love. I'm walking through where my guest is approaching. Oh, my. She blocks my path and kneels before me. I quickly recognize the tune. It's a famous black love ballad. I've heard it performed countless times, but never with such skill and passion. The intense emotions of song are mirrored in her gaze. It's set on me. She does not look away for a single heart beat. She just wants me to press her claims, right? I can see through when a wench is after this. Uh, she could attempt to win my heart. I could ask her to do horrible things for me, though. But uh, for some reason, my queen will hear about this and not like me for it. But she loves me, right? She's my soulmate. She'll understand. Now fetch me a wolf pelt. the way to do it. Betrayed our promise. Look, it's just a bit of flirting. Oh, the Byzantine Empire seems to be in a bit of trouble. I can't swear fealty, of course. Maybe if they conquer this, I could. Probably a great idea to swear fealty once I've organized my religion, but I will want a hook on you. Not that I can do that right now because I can't do it for a... after I got discovered last time. Air in line, prisoners ransomed, you can lawfully imprison. Who the hell are you? Can't I just tell you to go away? Duke Pius is the rightful holder of Feher, but he's never going to have it. He's not going to like me for holding it, though. Look, he desires it. Too bad, though, I want that duchy for myself. I wonder if I had that duchy, it would go to my next in line. What with, uh, what with my capital now being in Feher. But I would need to revoke that title, but I can't because we're allied. Can't forget that. You trying to bend the knee to Blurple? I just want to feudalize off of him. I certainly don't want more than that. Oh, Gregarious, yes, that is also... Jinx. I'm getting everything in place to make you the ultimate uh, piety generator here, bare minimum. When, in fact, Barb and Falk is trying to steal all the, uh, all the credit himself. He just needs two more lifestyle things, and he should be able to reform... Of course, let's uh, have a grand old feast first. Imagine swearing fealty to purple two streams in a row. Well, uh, the first one I didn't swear fealty. We had already sworn it. Again, hooks expired. Why it doesn't tell you that they're about to expire, I don't know. It's no good telling us what's already gone. I could talk to a confidant. This broke last time, but... I don't have stress to lose. Doesn't seem to be any use for that. Plenty of book kissing regardless. Okay, I did lick those Byzantine books clean last time. But uh, that's because I actually wanted to remain a Byzantine subject this time. Wallachia is their own beast. But the reason I want to swear fealty is because if I don't, I have to go through each of these innovations and get all of them before I can reform. Uh, because that's adopt feudal ways without that. 
have all tribal era innovations, and that's just so much. So much to ask for. It's a it's a massive time dump is what it is. Something that I focus on will be done in like 20, 30 years, so that's looking at least 100 years to get these done. Wow, Bavaria's looking menacingly large. And they're probably not too far away from forming Germania, which is a little scary. <laughs> you got some really badly injured air there. Might be pretty cool to, to try and um, offer guardianship of these kids out there to try and send my ways further out there. But I should do it after Sloviansken has been reformed, not before, or else I'm just going to have the same problem again. You're going to be so obese, says Jordan. Uh, I think we're keeping it together for now. I guess the walk to Novgorod's going to shed a few calories. Yeah, if you're wondering why I have not been expanding for ages, it's because Confederate Partition really discourages further expansion. I really can't take the Kingdom of Moldavia at this point. As soon as I can shed Confederate Partition, then that kingdom is mine. However... Oh, there. Oh, it's calling the hunt. Mm, no. Won't do that. I'm not, not keen on dying right now. And granted, all the death decisions you can jump away from, but not having it. Pilgrimage in November, it's currently July. You can expand, it'll just be border gore. Oh, wow. I put my bets on the wrong house here. This guy's doing pretty well to expand Halleck, but he's still just a count. Would it kill him to form that duchy? Uh, he actually did form it. My mistake. My sizable mistake. You have a grandson. Is he interested in any kind of matrilineal marriage? That's a big no. Actually, that's a huge no. Do I have to go further back in the line for that? How about this granddaughter of yours? <sighs> Baron, I need somebody super fertile to plow through that. Grand Jester or Elghorn? Perhaps even my son and ward. I don't want to waste handsome on that. They would accept that, and then if I just murder my way through, we would have... Um, let's see. Need to murder you before you die. And then murder the next one as well. So there's some murdering to be done. Before I get on this, how are you doing? Ooh, frozen grief. Having never processed the deaths of a loved one, this character finds it harder to connect with others. Looks like it's not going to go away anytime soon. You would likely die, and then it's a case of killing the kid. The other kid, of course. Okay, well, we'll give it a go. Worst case scenario, make an alliance I don't particularly want, but at least you're Slovanskian. Arrange marriage with my son. Hey, it'll be the same age. And they're not even marrying down. And there's no point in making it matrilineal. They don't have a choice of matrilineal if they're recruited to your court after spending their childhood in your dungeon, says Sea Space. <laughs> no, they don't, but let's try and do this the old fashioned way. I don't want to get rid of my robust. Could I just send off the hail one instead? Hmm, send off the four year old instead. Huh? Where'd the... Where'd this go? I'm trying to arrange a marriage with you. Alright, get that done, and now there's murdering to do. Both of you need to die, starting with you. Oh, the spymaster's interested. 
for very little money. Well, this will be easy. Hopefully. Cue me getting caught immediately again. Mm -hmm. Ecstatic peasantry. The peasants are in a good mood. The harvest is bountiful. The roads are safe. The village elders are telling nonsensical stories of cows producing honey-laden milk and geese laying golden eggs. The peasants are praising me for their fortunes and have sent me a delegation carrying gifts. Intriguing. Send the soldiers to collect more gifts. Uh, that's over in Targon Dew. I gain dread and more money. Development growth where? Targon Dew gets it. Well, I'm not interested in bolstering that one anymore. Yeah, I needed a bit of a dread top up. Let's go and collect some more gifts. And while we're at it, get that control back. Only takes three years. Worth the dosh. Thank the gods I'm not a surf in medieval Jake's domain. <laughs> you wouldn't have a choice. Right, I'm going to bump up that uh, stress again by killing another baby. Good thing my confident ways are helping keep that stress down. Thank god I'm not telling people about all the murders I've been doing, though. That's only three, but two of them being kids probably makes it people feel like it's a lot more. Oh, we got the third one. Fourth one's well on its way. Ah, can't wait. Next month we're going on our pilgrimage once again. Evet died in my dungeon. Oh, come on, you're only 16. Plenty more life left in you, I'm sure. Alright, pilgrimage o'clock. Let's prepare the journey. Kiev, Novgorod, Borlad, Lok Rugen, Long, 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 Long. Oh, well, short to there. You know, I own Kiev. Let's go and check it out. Scheme discovered. <laughs> Come on. I cannot catch a break with my scheming today, and it's not like we're bad at intrigue. Maybe my spy master just keeps letting it out. Dragos, you're meant to be my friend. Oh, he's not my friend. I thought he was. I could have sworn that Dragos had been our friend. We got any better spy masters out there? We do not. Oh well. What I can do is invite somebody else to cover up. Only 17 ducats to make it so as well. For someone whose specialty is scheming, he sure is bad at it. Maybe he just uh, covers up how bad he is by being enthusiastic. Plenty of people do that in life. Okay, we've got it back up. Doesn't really matter that it's exposed that much. His intrigue is crummy. Oh, well, a slight problem is they seem to be losing some wars over there. Speaking of problems, every week that passes, my fellowship grows smaller. Some have gone so far as they can before the need to return home overtakes them. Others have met with less fortunate ends. A group of personal guards is thinning out at an alarming rate. Not paying for foreign guards, I need divine protection here. My intrigue goes down from my devotion, which is probably bad because I'm trying to kill people, but my diplomacy goes up. And best of all, extra piety. Probably shouldn't be taking risks on my life when I'm so close to reforming my religion, but you know how it is. Even if I get injured, my uh, my Durwind here is pretty good at healing me up almost instantly. Well, it has been instant so far. Sacred Groves. I've finally arrived in Kiev. Some worship in churches or mosques. I know the most sacred of places are often the open forests where bare feet are caressed by the soft, nourishing... Is this really how holy Kiev is? My garden must be pretty damn holy. The old groves here are especially venerable, and I find myself wondering about the place. And uh, Well, that's pathetic, actually. I wanted a lot, lot more piety than that. It seems that Chieftain is tightening security at court, hoping to track down the traitorous schemers. My fellow plotter is concerned that he might have attracted unwanted attention. I trust you. There we go. Trust can be rewarded. 
Right, uh, that did not get me the piety I was looking for. Call to war from... Oh, Christ, yeah, I, I did sign an alliance there. And declining isn't very good. I lose fame. Who are you fighting against? Oh, God, he's huge! <laughs> ah, would you like to breed? We don't have enough giant going on in the Vlad bloodline. You're also an organizer. God, I want you. I want you in my prison. What even is this war? Some conquest by the somebody such and such in the something something system. Just raise the men at arms. There should be no need for more. And get stuck in. See, there was that guy earlier saying he wouldn't want to be a serf in my uh, medieval horror show, but just think of the breeding. If you look good, or you're strong, or you're giant, or you're albino. What's the other one? Oh, if you're intelligent, but I probably wouldn't notice, then we want you. Uh, let's save that stress for when I murder some kids. Right. Giant man is leading the troops himself. But if I go for him... No, it doesn't look like I'll get... Um, I'll get attrition. Let's go and try and take him prisoner. Your child might be killed. You might be forced to hand over your money. But there's a lot of breeding, apparently. <laughs> uh, one of my very close friends took issue with the fact that I used breeding when talking about, uh, when I talked about people creating offspring. He really didn't like it. He said, Jake, don't call it breeding. I wouldn't have it any other way. Right, we got him. He is ours. And I am the jailer. Unfortunately, you own that county. So I cannot press you into service here. How can I get you on my side? I don't know, but the war is won. But that's because you're held. You'll probably be surrendered if uh, if my buddy here pieces out. I don't want you surrendered. I could get a hook on you, but that wouldn't help. As long as you're landed, I can't just abduct you. I don't know what my options are here. I don't think I can enslave giant fellow. I mean, there are other giants out there. I'm just being enamored because this is the first one I've really come across. Get a hook, he loses land. The thing is... Oh, right, this is actually uh, Halik getting bigger. So the question is, giant man, what do you own? Saris. So you still hold this, right? Yeah, he's still going to hold that. Hmm. There we go. So he was released even though he was in my prison. He still has land though. Ah, well. It's not, uh... Oh, the baby's gone. It's the way of life, but her hand lingers on her belly. Well, you, at least you gain that two, uh, two prowess back, right? There we go. Stiff upper lip. Oh, maybe that was the problem. Ah, giant man. <laughs> what would it take to bring you to my court? I know I can't because he's landed, but I still want him. Hmm. Is he close enough to conquer? Everyone's close enough to conquer. I'm a tribe. I could run into Bavaria if I wanted and say, give me your kingdom. Your kingdom of mm, Bavaria. Bohemia. East Francia. But... I'd have to be exalted among men. Uh, we're working towards that. Okay, uninvited. One of my agents acquired deadly spider. Spiders cannot talk. I hope you're not afraid of them. 
There we go, my little friend has done it well. I forgot, where am I trying to take over? Is it Halleck? No, where, where am I even trying to do this? I so easily forget what in God's name I'm doing. Oh, it is an Alec. Who did, who did I betroth off? Or did the betrothal break down from a death? I don't know, but I could probably check. Wrong one. Living members, let's see the tree. Easier way to see it there. Ah, there's us. Was it you that I betrothed off? I don't think it was Roxana. It was one of my kids. There we go, there's the betrothal to Vasilia. So what's up, Vasilia? Are you no longer in line here? It looks like you are not. What was going on there? Did I kill someone for no good reason? Would not be the first time, won't be the last. I bet I was looking at the wrong line. I was looking at this place. Whereas what I should have been looking at is this. Yeah, that seems likely. And I doubt you're going to want any kind of matrilineal... Oh, you would! Hey, we can still get in there. Let's get my bleeding daughter in there. But that severe penalty might mean she won't make it. But I really want to keep robust and pretty in the uh, in the main line. Let's have some belief that she can make it. I'll send that proposal. And then I'll hope you hold on for just a little longer. And then, can I actually murder you? Maybe you'll die in prison, which would be nice, but I shall try to kill you nonetheless. So much scheming to be done, so little time. There we go, you'll surely be enough to get it done. <laughs> I'm building up all this piety whilst killing all these people. It's the way it goes. But you better hang on. Oh, looks like you made it out of prison. Oh my god, can I get a single scheme going? I have full secrecy and yet it just keeps, uh, keeps getting discovered. I might abandon this and then just actually um, abduct the guy if possible. But abduction's unlikely to work. Hmm. Can't start a murder scheme against him for years. Anybody else want to join in? No. And he's athletic, so he's not likely to die anytime soon. Ooh, what if I invited him to my court? No, can't invite player heirs. Hmm. Curse it all. Abduction will take eight years. Okay, that's not going to happen then. Hmm, that's a pain. And that was just after I did the patrol as well. Which I can cancel. Pretty sure secrecy percent only matters on the final act, and your chance of detection is different. You think? I think. Yeah, 
Here's another thought, and it's a little more direct. Let's see if we can't capture that guy by force. Oh, am I lied to you? Not really. We'll take all the attrition we have to do to get into there. Is White Rus still Slavic? No, they're Taltosist. There's something alright. I ain't coughing somebody up for 10. 10 is not the going rate. All right, now where is this bugger, specifically? I think he's with an army over there. So, that means I could have a shot at going over and killing him. It's an atricious path, though. Is that him? Is that him? No, that's the High Chieftain himself. But that's not to say the heir is not a knight. In fact, he is a knight. He's dressed up in full garb. We're not here to always raid. Go and get them. <laughs> Might as well get the whole lot while we're at it, if we can, indeed. Rout him out! Rout him out! It's like my rushing and stronghold crusader. Ah, I didn't get them all inside the early battle phase. Ah, didn't capture anybody either. Alright, go and ransack the main place, see if there's anybody there to capture. Got a non-believer secret on uh, this dude. That's my champion. As long as they claim to be believers, I'll take it. I was wondering, will we see another run at Beholder? Yeah. I was interested in that game. So I want to play more of it. Experienced fighter, 19 prowess. Not a giant, but still recruited to my court. Wait, it's Radu again. What is Radu like? What a guy. Are we raiding here? Or do I have to tell you to always raid? Always be looting and always be raiding. Bare minimum, you're a man now. Flamboyant trickster. So he didn't learn all the tricks, probably because I changed his education midway. But, you've made it. You know, I need to find a good spouse for you. You're already landed, so I want to make it happen before you get any other ideas. We did... No, I can't have you marry your amazing sister, sadly. That's a bit too close, even for me. So, let's scour the world for somebody ripe for you. They must have good inheritable traits, because I am in the eugenics level of the game now. Ideally, someone with genius and pretty. Well... <laughs> Maybe not the bleeding trait again. Sort them by age, find somebody who's half decent for you. I like Amazonian. I have no idea where that is. We have not had enough genius coming down in the family yet, in my opinion, but I'm not seeing a lot of geniuses out there. <laughs> Find someone that's good, but uh, I think that's your sister. Mm, yeah, bare minimum has come out pretty well so far. This Amazonian Norse. I just worry a bit about getting this useless alliance with someone I don't care about. Could bring in a robust Finn. 
Wasn't there somebody that was actually quite intelligent down here? Oh, Fisun, that's a lot of babies. Those Russians know what they want. You know what, let's just do the scatter shot. Give me lots of babies. Bare minimum is going to lose a lot of prestige, but they can get that back with a marriage event, so just take it. Um, wrathful. Ambitious. Ooh, it actually adds life expectancy. I wasn't aware of that. You are dumb as bricks, though. That might be a problem for old bare minimum. Dumb ass bricks. Is there anyone else with Fasund here? I'm kind of taken with that uh, that trait now. It's just you. How does having lots of babies improve your lifespan? You'll feel more attached to life itself with all those kids. Well, depending on how the kids come out, maybe it goes quite the opposite. I don't want someone that's just comely. I want a bit more imagination brought into it. All right, well, you might be dumb as bricks, but maybe we'll screw you so hard that it'll sort your head out. So let's bring in the Russian and make a lot of babies who hopefully turn out a lot smarter. Oh, well, I did end up taking somebody. Some unlanded person with a claim on plot. Well, I don't want that because... Wait, who are you? Oh, you're, you're insane. You are, however, walking around with a fat load of cash. You might even say too much cash. You're the one I want the hook on. Would you come... Okay, would this guy come to my court if I uh, hired this lassie? Well, let's find out, right? Let's recruit you. Uh, let's get a little hook while we're at it. I don't care about your claims. Let's see what happens. Marriage proposal accepted. Wait, why was there a small child saying that? I guess the lady that we married there was... Uh, Oh god, that's an atricious route to try and cr uh, grab this guy, but try I shall. Unlanded, invite to court. You won't, but I got your I got your spouse right here. Unthinkable. All right, let's uh, go to another one of these. There's a lot I'm trying to do at once, and that always hurts me for trying to remember what in the world I'm doing. Can't handle many moving parts like this. Unlanded at Karachev. But I want you here. Come to my court. I can't believe he doesn't want to be with his own wife. What if I apported you as my co uh, court physician? Would then he would he then join me? I don't know. I can't give you land or anything. Does anybody know how I can get this guy to my court? I mean, abduction is an option, granted, but it's probably not the one I want. Speaking of abduction, there's somebody that I haven't tried to abduct in a while. And I will want him here, because he's got all that money. Gluttonous, oh, trusting. All the more reason. Give it a go. Trusting is great. Should be able to intercept you. I'm not stressed out right now. Won't bother with a hunt. Unpleasant pleasantries. Sending out an invitation to dance. I was looking forward to an evening of good company and frivolous fun. Instead, I found myself stuck in a dreadful conversation with my chancellor. Good evening. 
Ah, familiar voice. It's um you. The hell are you? Some unlanded chief today. Eh? Attentive listener. As soon as Florence's attention is fully on her, I'm free to escape. Gain stress to maybe gain a dipl diplomatic lifestyle perk. That could be useful. Very useful, because I might be able to get friend making. It's a low chance, but i got to try and get that. Ah, it'll do, I suppose. Murder his wife, arrange mater... Ah, perhaps without murdering. Still did not capture anybody. Man, raiding isn't all it's cooked up to be. Oh well, I tried. Let's get back before I have too many people uh, killed here. Did I see Gunnar taken prisoner? Well, he obviously fought his way out, but his child is uh, sitting in prison as well. Hopefully not about to die. Jailed by a uh, high chieftain of something or other. Oh, it's a raid. Hmm. Wish I could pay for the release of that child. I also hope you make more children there, Gunnar. I didn't give you the best of the best for nothing. He's 59, but I'm sure he's got it in him. God help me, please, says hi, Jake. Well, hello. What's going on here? So much going on at once. I am not good at these uh, multi things. Torda, you're at war with that in a liberty war. Probably just a lower authority, so that's not a big deal. Let's disband that army. It's costing me way much in attrition. Gift Gunnar 50 ducats. Uh, oh, well. Duke of Transylvania popped his clogs. Who is the Transylvanian owner now? Duke Pius II. Uh, he's not on my good side either now, is he? By the way, I really, really do want that title for myself. And he might even accept. I'm not going to push it right now, but it's good to keep in mind. Let's sway you while we're at it, keep you in my good books, because I'm going to need to convert quite a, quite a few people soon. Actually, we're not far away from doing it. From getting our uh, religion going. So I should look into getting everybody on my side. The only ones that won't are Pius II, uh, this weirdo. Could I just, you know, gift you up to the hilt for this? Actually, gifting would work quite well. We'll try and sway you for now, though. And, 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 who else didn't want to join in? Pius, them, and... Angry, fat... Weren't you my friend? I thought we became friends. You insane ra uh, ravener. A couple of gifts would be rather expensive. Let's just try, a bit of, try and spend a bit of time swaying. Tyrant is melting off quite nicely as well, though. Jake, will this stream lower some of the suffering I'm going through with Steam support to get my account back? Woof, locked out an account with Steam. That would send me straight into level 2 stress in this game. Not sure I can help you out that much, especially since things are going relatively slowly under Bar Barb and Falk. Alright, Marshall position's open. Hey, wasn't it, wasn't it that uh, angry guy that wanted my position there? <sighs> There's a genius available. And he is my vassal. Or I could keep you a bit sweeter, but no, I like having someone that's good at a job, having the job. How can I say no? Evidently I can't. I just wanted to know whether it's on purpose your Twitch vault or sub- Oh yeah, I've been over this one quite a few times, Udly. Uh, long story short, Twitch is getting a crackdown from DMCA uh, claims, so this is the best defense I have for now. Hail and come. We'll see what happens when the storm blows over on that one. Nice to have more kids going on. If nothing else, marriage fodder. So we're going to have a Marilon take up that persona. Grow up strong and wise, my daughter. A Marilon. Reading can be hard. 
Byzantine Empire is actually dwindling in strength. This is good. The more the Abbasids chew into them, the easier time I'm going to have when I have to lick their boots. And I will have to lick their boots at some point. I can next hold a feast in 38. In fact, October this year. I will strongly consider that. And we're almost there on uh, profit. Whilst we're at it, though, it would help to go to my prison, sort out the Greeks, and unless they're willing to pay a lot of money, kill them for more uh, piety, because I'd hate to lose out from lack of piety. And again, they were offering up decent dosh there. Ten is not decent dosh, you're dead. Twenty is not decent dosh, you too are dead. I believe I mentioned something about decent dosh dead. The thing about this way is now I can't see their religion unless I hover over them. You're Sloviansk, so I don't even know what you're doing here. Lunatic with good martial but terrible prowess. He's just getting old. There, There's little point to let you go, but I won't execute you because it hurts. Down you go, go. That money, though. There's actual money at stake for them. Go on, give me that 50. Are the factions doing okay? Oh, we're, we're way on top of the factions. The Christianis are too small and the Orthodox populists are almost completely gone. I'm surprised the zealot that I put in charge here didn't rout them out, though. I would have thought he would. Oh, we're getting there on the abduction of hip Politos. <laughs> well, at least one part of him is fat in a good way. 26 years in prison, those poor souls. Not as poor as the one that I tried to make my masterpiece. I hope we get another shot at that. But that event hasn't come back up in a while, even though I have been keeping my prison rather fatly stacked. Are we not increasing, um... Yeah, we haven't been increasing development over in Fecher. I want that. I want that as high as it can go. Gotta get some actual development in Vlachlands, especially since it spills out. Oh, man, I'm not even telling these places to convert to Vlach, and they are probably because of uh, Top Liege. That's unfortunate, but the way I see it, if Fecher becomes really high in development, it will spill out across the whole realm. Is it love? Aren't you the same one that came after me before? Oh, I wanted you to uh, to bring me some wolf pelts, but you haven't brought me anything. Okay, well, if, it's n if you're not bringing me wolf pelts, I don't want to hear anything about it. You have to be on intimidation focus for that, I think. Is that so? Well, we switched over to theology. But I'm tempted to switch over to diplomacy for the befriending. My diplo isn't terrible. It's not good enough, though. So once we reform our faith, I'll probably go full on diplo. Would love to see you replace that lame steward. Yeah, he's not very good, but we've been having a hard time finding good stewards in the realm. Every other option's worse now. Okay, I was able to sway Duke Pius. I think I'll sway him just a bit more, and then move on to other matters. Soon I can have my feast, get a bit more piety, and that should coincide with our next theological focus. Our health is fine. Good old stubbornness kicking in there. Territorial? Has Wallachia changed at all? core here is not. All we've done is grabbed ourselves this and this. <laughs> Getting a bit too fat from all of these, but off we go anyway. Ah! Uh, <laughs> can I do anything without being discovered? We were so close as well. Oh, well I could bring in some helping hands. Would probably be expensive though. I need the best bang for buck on inviting some help here. These people do not have a lot of good reason to join me. 
And they all desire quite a lot of dosh. Right, I think I'll just go for the one that adds the most scheme power. Couldn't I just gift you instead? Oh, you want 150 anyway. I will try two of you. And not a single one more. Did they, did they take the money instantly? Could be that the uh, the thing fires before they join the scale. Oh, well, they joined in anyway. Okay, we managed to get it up to maximum. Dilemma. A good dilemma as well, though. Friendly or... Nah, be friendly. A little reason to make enemies right now. I wish there was more to enemies. I wouldn't be surprised if there's an expansion that comes out that's like friends and foes or something. That expands on actions with friends and nemeses. Ah, our own son helping us out so much. And that's a huge health boost as well. Servant of Honesty, I was shocked when I caught Haramir trying to steal from the travel chest. He confessed uh, he had thought he could get away with it, but now knows he was wrong. Honesty is a virtue. Good for diplomacy. You could be a great diplomat down the line. <laughs> you have to cover up your wrongdoings. Humble's a waste of time. Or is it, though? Opinion of vassals plus 10. Piety increase. Nah, go for that. Uh, go for that honesty. Could be good since I'm unlikely to play as you. Time to strike. Get in my van, old man. My ultimate act of piety will be taking, uh, taking your wallet for a spin. 50% chance that it won't work, and you know what I say? Oh, well, I say a lot of things, but uh, welcome aboard. Right, there's a slight problem here. I'll negotiate your release, I recruit you, and I get a hook on you, and I'm even going to demand your conversion. But there's a lot of reasons this might not work out for me. Oh, there we go. Watch your step now. Yes, I don't even need the hook. He's going straight to prison. The tyranny is actually pretty bad, given that I'm just about to reform my faith, and that's going to make my vassals not want to join me. Mm, but if I leave him be, he's going to run away. In he goes. Well, no, he wouldn't run away because I hired him, but he, he still might get out of there. Doesn't matter, though. He's going into prison. And you know what prison means? Prison means you can buy your way out as long as I get all of your bloody money. And I already have a hook, so I don't need more. So, so long, and thanks for all the dosh. Ah, I'm famous revel na uh, reveler now. Intrigue diplomacy. Probably an expanding waistline. Let's hold our own feast, why not? Let's gain even more uh, piety. I need that piety after all. There we go. So much money. Oddly enough, it doesn't cost money to reform the faith. Ah, now, who else could possibly pony up some dosh for me? Bavaria, you're pretty large. You wouldn't have to have a very wealthy archbishopric, would you? He's brave. I wouldn't be able to throw him into prison when I bring him over. It's good to take note of that before you make such false uh, false moves. What in God's name happened to Italy? It splodettoed. It's like a new brand of rip-off Cornettos there. Papacy's not very rich. Hmm... Sweden, do you deal in realm priests? Probably not, because you're unreformed pagan. You'll have someone, but I won't recognize them at a glance, and I think you're outside of my uh, diplomatic range. Yes, you are. Hmm? Or are you? Maybe not. Vengeful, ambitious, arrogant, but you know... Maybe, just maybe, I can throw you into my party van. I'll give it a go. Or... Hmm... 
to give it a go. Anybody want to join on this one? That's what I want to know. Yeah, the Duke himself, for some reason, wants me to cart him off. Worth it. Worth it. Jake, if you don't mind me asking, what use will you have for that money and more money? I'll always find a use for money. It doesn't really depreciate as the game goes on. A friendship with my own wife? No need. Let's just have an interesting conversation with her. Come on, we're almost there. He recognizes true intellect. Leans over to tell me he finds it impressive and knowledgeable I am about so many things. What a bootlicker. Unfortunately, that tyranny probably means that uh, I won't get so many conversions. 10 out of 14. I could gift up all of these, I think, with the money that I just um, acquired from the Orthodox Church. Intimidation's helping, though. Good thing we got all that dread. No such thing as too much money in CK3. Especially just as you're about to turn feudal, that money disappears fast. How would turning feudal change it? Or how would that really be impactful on your dosh? Okay, finally, profit. Faith, creation cost, minus 50%. Big. Very big. Now, we can finally reform the faith. Reforming it costs 2,000 straight up. That's a lot. If I want to make changes, it's going to be hefty. Now, one thing is we want to accept witchcraft, and already that's pushing up the cost. The question is what else we want done here, and the answer is I don't really know. So that is going to be a question for future Jake, uh, if we can get a name on this. Arben Falk uh, organizes religion organizer. Well, I guess he is, but he's organizing. I shall deal with this tomorrow when I'm a bit more, a bit more fresh, because I've been streaming for most of today. Head's going to turn into putty right now, and I'm still on the recovery phase after the Nancy Drew marathon, so critical thinking doesn't come easy. Uh, it's not like we have a ton of piety to spare on this, and I don't want to delay the decision, but we should consider what we want for all of this. I'm willing to take suggestions, but we'll probably be continuing this on tomorrow, so there's not a lot of time. What day is it even? Well, probably. Um, 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 because if I wanted something like that, suddenly the cost goes pretty high. I mean, I could handle 2.5, 2.6, maybe even 2.7, but if we wait too long, it's all the risk that he dies, and then there's no big changes happening here. Anyway, problem for the future. For now, it's time for bed, so cheers for joining for... Crusading, both in Stronghold and Crusader Kings. And cheerio.